Today we are going to be talking about the Warka vase, also sometimes called the Uruk vase. The vase was created in the ancient city of Uruk in Mesopotamia about 5,000 years ago, and it was discovered in modern-day Warka in Iraq. If you remember from the previous videos, I mentioned that Sumar was broken up into city-states, which are cities that govern themselves. One of these city-states was Uruk. Uruk was a bustling city and may have had about 40,000 residents. That would have made it the largest city of its time. So think of maybe New York in terms of popularity of a city. But keep in mind that this is an ancient city. In Uruk, there were opportunities, so people continued to move there. In fact, this was a very important time in human history because people were starting to live together in cities and creating an urban lifestyle. Up until now, people were mostly nomadic or lived in small villages. It's important to keep in mind that many things that we take for granted today had to be invented back then. For example, a writing system, laws, symbols, types of artworks, farming, irrigation, the domestication of animals, and various other things. Actually, one of the earliest known literature came from Uruk, the Tale of Gilgamesh. We know so much about the Sumerians because they left behind a writing system. They left behind writing on small clay tablets called cuneiform script. And some historians study these for years and spend their whole lives deciphering them. Cuneiform script, however, is not the only method of communication. Pictures were also used to communicate. And this is an image of the Warka vase. It's made of alabaster, a type of stone. It dates from around 3200 to 3000 BCE. It was found within the Inanna Temple complex in the city of Uruk. It's the first great work of narrative relief sculpture that we know of. It's a sculpture that tells us a story. It could have also been used as some sort of vessel. In fact, it depicts a religious ceremony honoring Inanna, the chief goddess of Uruk. She encompasses many things such as fertility, power, political power, and more. The artist divided the pictorial field into three bands called registers or friezes. Registers are sections that are meant to be read in order to tell us a story. So think kind of of a comic book. This idea of reading a story in sections also had to be invented. Remember when we looked at the cave paintings? This differs greatly from the mushed together composition. This particular story that we're looking at is read from bottom to top. Please read the directions and finish the first assignment before moving on to the next video.